Say Rakatea Hawa, Rakatea Shai, Rakatea Hawa, Rakatea Shai, Rakatea Hawa, Rakatea Shai. First and foremost, we want to give our praises and honor and glory to Yahweh, Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai, Ba Hashem, Badash Raka, double honors to the apostles and elders who rule well a great millstone, and a blessed sanitation to the Akims and the four Kanyot, pushing the gospel in sincerity and truth. Shalom. This evening, I want to touch on um, John chapter um, 10 um, for a start, right? And this is another edition of spiritual food. You know, to edify the church of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, 144,000 and the one third men, women, and children, and the confusion of faces that scattered in the folk on the earth, right? You so called Negroes, Latin, and Native American Indian, right? This is John chapter 10, verse um, 30. He said, I and my father are one, right? So when you walk, you ask Christian, read this. You saying that the Messiah, who you, who, who the one call Jesus, because his name is Yahweh Shai. You saying that he is the almighty power, the omnipotent power, right? This is what you as Christians saying, but you do or not know in the scriptures. What Yahweh Shai was saying eh, is that I and my father are one, they in one mind, they speak the same thing. They speak the same thing because Yahweh Shai was taught by his father. So he have the same mind as, as his father, and this is exactly what they're saying. Eh? We can prove it through the scriptures, right? Even the elect. Have this even Yahweh shall even pray for the elect have the same mind as he, as his father and him, and him, right? So you you so called Christian, right? You 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 wacky ass Christian. Y'all do err not knowing the scriptures, and y'all have a y'all are very proud because y'all was taught lies. Y'all was taught a plantation Christianity by a slave master, right? This is Mark chapter twelve verse twenty four. And Yahweh Shai answered, answering, said unto them, Right? He, do he not therefore err because he know not the scriptures? Yah do not know the scriptures. So you so you are err not know the scriptures. Yah bring your feelings. So yah so y'all emotion clog you clog your judgment. And y'all can you can see these things. Y'all can understand the scriptures. When the men the Lord bring it out. But you got this Bible in front of you 24 7 and you can't see these things because well, the most high blind to thought of his, of his own people. The most high blind y'all. Right? So Yahweh Shai say, and Yahweh Shai answering said unto them, Do he not therefore err because he know not the scriptures, neither the power of the most high, neither the power of the most high. Right, the scripture also said, "Get when get wisdom, and not like getting, get understanding." So it's all about understanding, right? Um, Yahweh Shai, who the world is going to call Jesus, and the Mosai Yahweh, who the world is going to call God, are two different entities. They are not the same. They are two different, right? But the topic I want to teach on this evening is that Yahweh Shai and Father have the same mind, they think alike, right? The same word that the way that the most high taught Yahweh Shai is the exact way he, he, he speak the works he do is everything of the father right that's why he said I am my father are one then the same mind right it's um this is Proverbs chapter 4 verse 7 he said wisdom is the principal thing therefore get wisdom and with all I get and get understanding so wisdom is the principal thing and all I get in wisdom you gotta get what understanding you gotta understand the scriptures, right? So we go back to John, John ten and thirty. He said, "I, and I and my Father are one, right?" So, like I say, you walk your Christian thing that, think that Yahweh Shai and the Father is 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 the same. The Most I can't come on this earth, right? The Most I can't come down. Anything the Most I come down, everything everything on the face they are gonna consume. Everything gonna consume, right? So you you um you walk your Christian in, in, in a mess you know you are in a mess and you are proud that's that's why you can't get the understanding of these scriptures because you are proud right the most is a consuming fire all right let me see if I can find the precept you know the most is a consuming a consuming fire right this is um Hebrews chapter twelve verse twenty nine for our power Yahweh 
is a consuming fire so the, if the heavenly father can't come on the earth and walk the earth everything everything would burn because the most of your was a consuming fire but i said no man see no man can see the most high and live because he's a consuming fire right so back to the lesson right yeah i was speaking of, of, the, of, the, of the same mind right and we can prove it through the scriptures right this is john and right? we can prove it through the scriptures right <coughs> Right, um, this is John 17. <coughs> I want to fucking start with John 12, right? This is John chapter 12, verse, um, start from verse, um, 47. He said, And if any man hear my words and believe not, I judge him not, for for I came not to judge the world, but to save the world. And speaking about speaking, this world, speaking about the Israelite. When you go into this world, world, the Greek word is cosmos, right? It's speaking about the Israelites, right? He said, verse 48, he said, He that reject me and received not my words had, had one that judged him, had one that judged him, who judged him? The Mosai, right? The word that I have spoken, the same shall judge him in, in the last day. And this word, the word is, this word is Yahweh word. So with the most well, Yahweh Shai, do you speak the words of his father? That's why he say he and the father of one, they are they are one. They mean they are, they are one mind. They are the same mind. Right? Basically they are a team player. They are a team. Right? Um verse 49. He said, For I have not spoken of myself. This is Yahweh Shai in the red writing. For I have not spoken of myself. But the father which sent me so the father sent him so yahushua and the father is two different entities right he said have he said he gave me a commandment he yahweh give yahushua a commandment he gave me a commandment what i should say what i should speak so he do the same that the father said to do they are in one they are one they mean in one mind they're together right he said and i know that his commandment is life everlasting there's a straight cut for you what he asked especially Christopher Dallow, who's saying that he's not supposed to keep the commandments the commandment is life right commandments commandments the commandments bring our order right he said and i know that this commandment is life everlasting whatsoever i speak therefore even as the father said unto me so i speak and that's how they in the same mind right that's how they in the same mind see so speak everywhere we father said tell them to speak right this is john chapter 17 verse 1 he said these words speak your house and lift up his eyes to the heaven and said father so who is speaking to his father so your house shall be willing to regard jesus and your house is two different entity right father the always come glorify thy son that thy son also may glorify thee right so he's, he's speaking to his father he's not speaking to his son he's speaking to his father which is in heaven right verse 2 as thou has given him he said as thou has given given him power over all flesh that he should give eternal life to as many as thou has given him right that not a straight cut for you walk he asked question you cannot choose the heavenly father the heavenly father got to choose you right and the most i elect was was from the was from before the foundation of the earth right verse 3 he said and this is the life eternal that they might know thee the only true power which is yahweh and yahweh shaya mashiach whom thou hast sent so showing again as two, two different entity right Verse 4, I have glorified thee on the earth. So I will shall glorify your father on the earth. Right? I have finished the work which thou givest me to do. And this is my said the I'm supposed to be in. You know, speaking to myself for us. We gotta finish this work. We gotta pray for the endurance. Pray pray to Yahweh Bashem Yahushai for give us the strength to endure to finish this work. Just like our big brother Yahweh Shai. He said, I have glorified thee on the earth. I have finished the work which thou givest me to do verse 5 and now oh father she's speaking to your father again it's two different entity he said now oh father glorify thou me 
with thine own self with the glory which I had with thee before the world was so there's two different entity right let me get a piece of the back up all right this is proverbs so yahweh was with the father before yahweh is the first spirit created right that the father created yahweh and yahweh create everything else right this is um, uh, proverbs chapter 8 verse 22 he said the lord yahweh possessed me in the beginning of his ways he said before before his works of old so you know outside from our apostles and elders James, they teach the teach reincarnation because it is in, it's in, it's in the bible our lord and savior how shall i teach reincarnation too so the man the lord know that king solomon is who write proverbs and we know the spirit the spirit was in, in the body in this the spirit was in king solomon was your shai right so he, he telling you in proverb here he the most high the most high yahweh possessed him in the beginning so this is going back in this this is this is this is this is reincarnation solomon prophesying it right solomon was also a prophet too right he said the lord yahweh possessed me in the beginning of his ways before the world before the works of old i was set up from everlasting from the beginning or ever the earth was when there was no depths i was brought forth he said when there were no fun from the fun, uh, fountains abounded with water before the mountains were settled before the hills was i brought forth so yeah i wish i telling you he was there right we just read in john 17 and 5 he said while verse 26 while as yet he had not made the earth nor the field nor the highest part of the dust of the world when he prepared the heavens i was there when he set a compass upon the face of the earth of the depth when he when he established the clouds above when he strengthened the fun, the fun, the fun, the fountain of the depths when he gave the sea his decree that the water should not pass his commandments when he appointed the, fun, the foundation of the earth then I was by him as one brought up with him, and I was daily his delight, rejoicing always before him. So Yahweh was always there. Right? He was the first spirit created. Right? That's why he's saying um John 17 and um, 5. He said, And now, O Father, glorify thou me with thine own self, with the glory which I had with thee before the world was. Right? Verse 6, he said, I have manifest thy name unto the men which thou givest me out of the world. Thine they were, and thou givest them me, and they have kept thy word. So the name only manifests to the elect. Right? The elect and only praise the most high name. So Yahweh did give the father name to the elect. He said, I have manifest thy name unto the men which thou givest me out of the world. It's a straight cut for you, I see. And all these, and these wacky ass Christian. Because the word Jesus is not even an English word. What G what G mean in English and what Zus mean in English? That's that's the Sarapus Sarap Christos. The Jesus Jesus Christ is a demon. The name is Yahweh Shai. Right? And the final name is Yahweh. Right? Verse 7. Now, now they have known that all things whatsoever thou hast given me are of thee. For I have given unto them the word which thou givest me and that's how then that's how yahweh shai and yahweh in the same mind because the word that yahweh give yahweh shai he give unto what the elect i read this again he said this is um john 17 and um, 7 he said now they now have they known that all things whatsoever thou has given me are of thee for i have given unto them the word which thou givest me <laughs> And they have received them and have known surely that I came out from thee and they have re and they have believed that thou didn't send me so Yahweh I came and speak the words of Yahweh that's why there was in the same mind there was one there was in the same mind right he said I pray was nine. I pray for them I pray not for the world so Yahweh I pray for only for the elect who thought our own people gonna be destroyed 
he only pray for the elect right he said i pray for them i pray not for the world but them which thou givest me which is the elect the most i give him the elect for they are dying right they are dying the hundred and forty four thousand and the one third men and children yahweh give to yahweh shai right Verse then he said, and all thine are and all mine are thine, and thine are mine, and I and I am glorified in them, and I am glorified in them. Right? This is the point of this is the point in verse eleven, right? John seventeen eleven he said, and now I am no more in the world. He went back to the Father. He was crucified. He went back to the Father. He risen. He risen, and he went back to the Father. But these are in the world, which is the elect. And I, he said, and I come to thee, Holy Father, showing that he and the Father is two different entities, right? Keep, he said, keep true, keep true thine own name, those whom thou hast given me, which is the elect, that they may be one, <laughs> that they may be one as we are. So we, the men the Lord gonna be in the same mind as Yahweh Shai. Cause we gonna preach the doctrine of Yahweh Shai. Because Yahweh Shai preach the doctrine of Yahweh, and the men the Lord gonna preach the doctrine of Yahweh Shai. That's when we go back to John 10 and 30. He said, I and my father are one. So Yahweh Shai pray to Yahweh that the men that the elect gonna be in the same mind as Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. The man the Lord preaching the doctrine of, doctrine of Yahweh Shai. Right? Let me read this again. This is John 17, 11. He said, And now I am I am no more in the world, but these are in the world, which is the elect. The 144,000 in one third men, women, and children, confusion of faces, the scattered the four on the earth. And I come to thee, Holy Father, keep true thine own name those who keep true thine own name <laughs> those he said those who thou givest me that they may be one as we are that they may be one as we are right so the men learn to speak the doctrine of Yahweh Shai right we're not gonna speak no other doctrine but the doctrine of Yahweh Shai and this is what Apostle Paul said to, and this is what Apostle Paul said too. Apostle Paul speak the doctrine of Yahweh Shai, and this we command us to do. Right? This is first Corinthians chapter one, verse ten. He said, He said, Now I beseech you, brethren, he said, by the name of our Lord Yahweh Shai Mashiach, that ye all speak the same thing, that ye all speak the same thing. Right? The doctrine of Yahweh Shai. Right? And that there be no division among you, no division among you, right? Some camp teach that the RFID, RFID, RFID microchip is a, is a, is a, is, a, is John three sixteen. Some teaches that in Barco, you know. But GMS we teach that is a, is the R the mark of the beast is the microchip. We teach the mark of the beast is the microchip, and every day it manifesting that the mark of the beast is the microchip. Some camp still teaches in Barco. It's John 3.16. Right? Um, ISUPK said the mark of the beast is raping little, little girls. You know? So the apostle tell you we gotta speak the same thing. Right? And when you go into the root word of the when you go into the root word the word mark or the Greek word the word there is karagma, which means to stick or prick something up in your hand. Right? And the word six six means kaista is stigma. I want check the word stigma. Go back to what? It go back. It, it go back to um, karagma, which means to stick or prick something up in your hand, right? He said, "Now I beseech you, brethren, by the name of our Lord Yahweh Shai Mashiach, that ye all speak the same thing, and that there be no division among you, but that he be perfectly joined to." together in the same mind joined together in the same mind just like Yahweh Shai and the Father we are the sons of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai we are the sons we are the prince of God Yasharala so we gotta be in the same mind of Yahweh Shai that Yahweh Shai in the same mind of Yahweh this is how we gotta be right he said and that there be no division among you but that he be perfectly joined together in the same mind and in the same judgment, in the same mind, and in the same judgment, right? 
this this how this this how we gotta be in the same mind and the same judgment and this is what the apostle before us did right in the past this is what it did to speak the same thing right this is um acts chapter 15 all right the start from verse 23 what the point is the point is in um um 27 right but no, let's start from verse 23 it's um and they wrote letters by he said by them after the manner the apostles and elders and brethren and sent greetings unto the brethren which are of the gentiles in antioch and syria and um, cilicia so this was israelite foreigner israelite foreign living in living in these in the in, the, in these land right he said verse 24 he said for as much as we have heard that certain which went out from us have troubled you with words subverting your soul me troubling with words me making like being a board making it a burden to them like you know like if a brother now coming to the truth our brother now wake up to who he is right you can't you, you can't feed with meat like a baby now born you can't feed a baby with meat you got to give the baby milk and the baby got developed with the milk so when the baby develop with the milk then the baby can eat meat so you're not gonna put strain on them and this was this was some of these israelite was doing back they're putting strain on the the, the israelite farmer who was now coming back to the heritage putting strain upon them right that's what they're getting into here now right he says for he said for as much as we have heard that certain which went out from us have troubled you with words subverting your soul saying he must be circumcised so like somebody now wake up to the fact you know like when any most i wake me up my elder then my elder then come to me right away and say yo you gotta be circumcised he didn't come to me right away and say that you know he started to teach me you know he started to test my spirit he started to teach me he started to teach me right and then when the pastor was coming he said yo you gotta be circumcised he keep the passover so I, I it wasn't a problem for me i went and do it I went and do it because what the, the most I put 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 in my spirit to do it, but what my elder built me up, right? He built me up, and this is what the apostle was doing it. You would have now coming back to who they is, the, coming back to the heritage. They kind of force force this thing on them because you gonna make it a stumbling block, and you gonna make it a stumbling block to them and turn them away, right? It's um and keep the law to whom we give no such commandments. Right? It seemed good unto us being assembled with one accord, with one accord, to send chosen men unto you with our beloved Barnabas and Paul, men that have hazarded their life for the name of our Lord Yahushua Mashiach. So the name is important. Right? Verse 25, he said, We have sent therefore Judas and Silas, who shall also tell you the same thing by mouth the same thing by mouth the same thing that barnabas and paul were speaking silas and judas speak the same thing same doctrine the doctrine of yahweh shai right that's why we read john 17 and um, 11 yahweh shai pray that we can be as one like yahweh shai and if and the heavenly father yahweh yahweh shai pray for that right so we speak the same thing and there was yahweh shai was saying so like in john 17 and 10 that we speak this that i and my father are one the mean to speak the same thing right um he said verse 28 he said for it seemed good to the holy spirit and to us to lay upon you no great burden than these necessary things that he abstained from meats right or for offer to idols by right? say from unclean meats like like swine shark lobster duck you know these unclean meat rabbit he said and from blood not supposed to eat no meat with blood inside it's supposed to cleanse it's supposed to clean meat to the best ability right and from things strangle he said and from fornication from fornication i um like idolatry committing adultery you know stop being homosexual women stop being hoes and, and lesbians this is the thing the pastor was telling them stay away from so building the faith up building up the faith right you're dealing you're giving them the milk right he said 
from which if he keep yourself he shall do well fear he well so this was the milk the apostle was feeding them with feeding them with the milk right they was feeding them with milk right um this is um second um corinthian all right second corinthians 13 and 11. second corinthians chapter 13 verse 11 finally brethren farewell be he perfect be of good com comfort be of one mind be of one mind one mind right live live in peace and the power of love and peace shall be with you so we can be in one mind and this way how shall i say in john in john 17 and 10 and close our back with that right this way i wish i was saying in the father is one that mean the mean they are they, they are they in agreement right john john 10 and 30 i and my father are one mean they are they are in agreement right and there's how there's how the man the lord is you know we speak the doctrine of yahweh shai because yahweh shai speak the word of yahweh so we in one one mind that's how we gotta be in one mind so john john 10 and 28 wasn't saying that if yahweh shai and the father is the same no it wasn't saying that it was saying that they 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 in agreement they in an agreement they are team players this is exactly what we're saying you know, and with that, hope is less than defying. Want to give our praises and honor and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, double honors to the apostles and elders who rule well at Great Millstone, and a blessed sanitation to the Akyams in the four county, you are to push in the gospel and sincerity and truth. Shalom.